Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Kronos Football Club and what you can do to maximize your profit in this game. All right, I'm not a financial advisor, so nothing I say here should be considered as financial advice. It's just me playing games and telling you what I'm doing in the game. So the floor price is sitting at 402 Kro over on Ibisu's Bay. To mint a new player, you would have to pay 4,000 gold, all right? And each player is producing 1,000 gold per day. So should you mint the player or should you simply head over to business bay and pick one up well let's check that out right now so 4,000 gold current price of gold is 0 0.04 so four cents that's 160 dollars to mint the player remember when you mint the player there's a chance that you might lose him because there's this 10 percent chance that the goalkeeper will snap him up and over on Ibisu's bay they cost 402 crow is currently sitting at 0 0.44 176 so it's cheaper to mint one but there is this little risk that you might actually lose your player once you do it if we head over to the price of gold you can see that it has gone up actually it has gone down in the last 24 hours in the last six hours but during the past days here it has risen you know and that's basically because we had a very rough start where people became like bearish on this project because it didn't launch in a normal manner you know a lot of troubles and all that stuff but then it launched and what i believe is that due to the fact that this is the first of these types of projects on the chronos chain it's bound to succeed and if you check out here we already have to pay four thousand per mint right now that means that we have gone through generation 1 5000 to 8000 and we're currently sitting here so we blew past this level that level and now we are sitting here from 11000 to 14000 generation 1 and we have to pay 4000 gold so the project you know is taken off is it gonna end sooner than we thought because everybody's super interested in this and this is my world right here i only have four players producing 4000 gold per day minus 20 percent let's take that calculations up here so that's 3200 you can times that by 0 0.04 all right so they earn like 128 dollars every single day and imagine some people they have a full squad here you know they have 11 players some people have 20 players i've seen screenshots of people that have a lot of players okay so what happens once they want to take some profit well your answer to that you know people will probably see this chart right here start to go towards zero i'm talking about this based on experience i have with other types of play to earn games where at some point the sell pressure becomes too high and with this project right here there are two things you can do with your goal you can either mint more players this option will of course come to an end once we have minted the 25th player then we have the vault here where you initially should be able to stake gold to earn usdc so stake your gold for a stable coin but you cannot do that yet once they open up for this it gives another use case for the gold token meaning people would be less likely to sell it so how i'm currently playing the game as I'll, i'll show you now you know i'll claim this gold right here why not i'll have to pay a little gas fee and that's okay and and by the way there was a lot of trouble here with the chronos network if you want to change your rpc you can head over here click the little bottom up there right scroll down to settings networks chronos and then this part right here you can put in the one i have here it's working brilliantly or you can head over to moonflow solution i'm going to leave the link down below in the description and you can pick one of these ones here and see if it works better for you and we can see it takes a while because a lot of people are doing the same thing as me right now they're claiming the gold they're working on this specific site and chronos for some reason is super popular these days and that's positive you know but we also gotta create more nodes so we can have it running smoother but my tactics at this current moment is basically half half so half of the money or half of the days i'm gonna claim and i'm gonna sell it to get crow not to overexpose myself you know and the other half i'm gonna compound into getting more players and then you can say ah you have to compound you have to this is my tactic whatever tactic you wanna do you have to do it you know because only you know what's best for your money i have already gotten my money back from this project so now i'm just playing with house money let's say i'm playing for fun so i can basically do whatever but i like to take some money out also and buy other nfts that you will see maybe in the future videos so as you can see now i have a thousand gold inside my wallet here if i have four thousand i could then mint another player but i don't at the moment i only have a thousand so i can head over to mm finance and swap my gold for crow as you can see a thousand gold will get me 90 crow 
And as I said, I like to do half half. Why? Because when those people with a lot of gold are starting to sell, not only will it drop the price, but people that have less gold will also see the price movement and start to sell their gold. And that's when the problem appears. But until then, we're good, you know. And hopefully, we can keep the gold at this level somehow, you know. But it's hard to say. It's been really high and it's been really cool. Hopefully, they will open the vault soon so we can have another use case for the gold token. And I've also heard in the Discord that they are talking about releasing the betting app and I believe that you will bet on football games with the gold token here so that's gonna be interesting so real life football games Champions League World Cup and all that stuff you know you will be able to bet using the gold token that would for sure be a use case that many people will start to look at okay guys remember I'm not a financial advisor stay safe out there you know get some exercise and some vitamins before you start looking at all these graphs and my videos and all that so hope you like this video and you found some value in it if you did please leave a like like on this video and i'm always happy to read a comment whatever you want to write down there you know just hit me up all right guys see you in the next one mm, bye bye